Hey, lightweights, and welcome back to some more GTA 5. Uh, thank you for being patient. I was away on vacation for anyone who did not see the community post. Um, and on Friday, before I left, I couldn't post a video because the capture card was still having major issues. Um, if you saw last video, you'll notice that the second half of the video, the gameplay footage just froze. <laughs> um, don't know why that happened. It's an issue with my capture card. I'm working with Elgato to try to figure it out, but it's a very slow process. I was kind of hoping I could have it fixed before I started recording again, but that's just not seeming like it's going to be the case. So um, Elgato support has been very helpful. They are trying to work with me. It's just uh, we're communicating through email and chat. So it's like kind of one communication a day. So it's taking a very long time, especially because since I was out of town, I wasn't able to respond to them right away. Anyways, this video I'm going to be replaying the missions that you were not able to see in the last video. Um, so obviously these missions aren't going to be blind because I played them last time, um, but I thought it was really important for you guys to actually see me play through it versus just seeing my face cam on a frozen frame. Uh, so if you have no interest because you already listened to it, uh, feel free to skip this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be a bit shorter if I had to guess because I'm just going to be jumping in and replaying mission and mission. I'm not going to be doing like the driving and the interlude pieces. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have the ability to redo those. I could go back in the save file and stuff, but um, with the capture card, if I record for longer than like 15 minutes at a time is when it does that freezy thing. So if I try to redo the whole thing from a save, it's just gonna keep happening. Versus if I just do the missions, it'll be easier for me to just be, make it choppy and whatever, you don't need all that stuff, I'm, now I'm rambling. Um, but anyways, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, it is just going to be those missions that I need to replay. Um, and Thank you for being patient with me. I think I've already said that, but I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys had a great week while I was away. I was on the beach burning myself, so my, I burned my scalp and the tops of my ears, so I'm peeling there. <laughs> um, and you guys don't care about this. I think that's everything. <laughs> I uh, it is It is 6.30 in the morning and I'm recording because it's the only time that I'm able to record now with the baby light, so my brain's a little... <clears throat> But um, if you're new here, sorry, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post my next video. Can't guarantee it'll be any better than this one. All right, you guys, here we go. I think this crystal maze one was the one in the house and I think it froze after that one, right? The crystal maze was the meth lab, I think. Friends reunited. So this was the one where I blew up the trailers, excuse me, of the biker gang. I think this is where I need to start. So I really think there's only two missions I need to redo. Because the rest of it was kind of interlude cutscene stuff, which kind of stinks that... Stinks that we're missing that much, but... Before you're playing a mission, the game will create a restore point. Once the replay has ended, you'll be returned to this point. Yes, I do. Get back here! Oh, we're good. It has little cutscenes included. Have you got it? Perfect. I kind of just thought I've it was gonna trying, plot me. Trevor, I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know. I know. <laughs> I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. 
Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um. <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. We gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? I forgot that I lost my car. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I kind of just thought it was gonna plot me in the middle of the shootout, but I guess that was Get just mic, man, stupid of me. I went to a gathering. It's exciting. If we're taking a, a road trip. We'll, like, need a car, won't we? Yeah, 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 I'm on it. It makes her pretty again. Oh, that's so mean. I need a car. None of these people have cars. It ain't so easy. Oh, this is why I stole a car that had a trailer on it, because I had to punch a guy out of his car to get it. Oh, I hear one. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Damn. They knew. They knew I was going to try to steal it. How are there no cars around? Also, why does my controller keep vibrating? Is that because the lightning? <laughs> it's like going crazy right now. Ooh. I'm gonna run him over. Okay, I did this really well the first time, and I'm probably not going to do it really well this time, and that makes me very sad. The assholes here, they slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You're lost, but you are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. I don't remember. Friends. Fuck. Oh, there you go. It's like I don't remember how to crouch. Okay, it'd be really cool if my controller stopped vibrating. I'm gonna go around the outside edge because that way I can spot it. Oh my god, my 
freaking left bumper. <laughs> Okay, I think I went around. And then I kind of just waited for them to leave. Oh, I feel like I need glasses. We're not in the clear. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There you go. Okay, then I think I went over to this one, and I'm pretty sure there's somebody over here. Yes. Okay, we're gonna run a little bit. Stop being blurry. That's the spot. All right, I had to be very, very careful through here. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! That did not happen last time. This guy just took out. Don't come over here. I just kind of felt like it was right to let him finish his eulogy. There's no one around. I kind of feel like I just want to run. There's no one around, as there's two people literally sitting right there. <laughs> Hi, Ralphie. Sorry if you hear dog noises. Ralphie has entered the room. He had such a horrible time at the... Dude. At the kennel. The vet called me after and she was like, Yeah, I don't think you should send him here again. He really hated it. Didn't eat any of his food all week. I 100% did this a different way last time. <laughs> the only guys out here are brothers of the Lost Motorcycle Club. Brothers on my head, you are morally obligated to bang the shit out of me. Ah! <laughs> Let's give you friends the send 
Okay. okay. Get me the hell out of here. Totally did that in a different order last time. Liked the order I did it in last time better. He ain't gonna do us again. Oh my god. The road, Trev. Okay. And don't I you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. No, 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 no. Like I got knocked a guy's guy. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead. Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind, huh? <laughs> I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be way. <laughs> Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade! Let's play a game then! You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tria Trisha. Okay, I have to awkwardly pause there because it's been 15 minutes and I don't want my footage to cut out. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. Trisha, boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh, get you get, get you get. So this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. <laughs> Did I fuck up the story? I thought there's more to it than just... Trisha. Oh my god, these... <laughs> I cannot drive on these roads! So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Here. Was that a um? Is that an observatory up there? Can Los I go there? Santos, the city of shitheads. 
Where else would he be? Flying over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep I want to go see one of those cars. Despair. And just then, just, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny What's boy. What's that up there? He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! <laughs> and then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news Ooh. picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think, but what happens in the end? That, Wade. We do not know. I didn't just steal another car, but oops. But um, I didn't want to mess up the story. Now that the story's done, we're almost there, so it feels stupid to get a different car. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. Go straight on here. Huh. God. <laughs> so now here's like a right. You're looking good. Now keep going. This is the place. I think it is at least. Floyd. Floyd. It's up here, Trevor. I feel bad for Floyd. Oh, it's me, Wade. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. You are a star. Ah. All right, so we now have a safe house. Ah. Woo! One mission done. Okay. I still have a silver on it. I forgot to do the headshots. Oh well. I wonder it's gonna be impossible for me to get all these gold, I bet. That could be a fun challenge though. Maybe when I finish the game. <laughs> when I finish the game, 
If I ever start streaming, that will be what I try to do. You guys can coach me on how to do it. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> you, you know when you're like really tired and you just like need to stretch? Is that, does anyone else have that or am I just weird? Okay, fame or shame? Don't answer that question if you say I'm weird. I don't wanna hear it. 63%, how's that silver? All right, um, this was the one where the daughter was basically stripping to get on TV. You do you, girl. But Michael was not happy about it. Neither was Trevor, because Trevor felt like she was his little girl. As well. The fuck is this shit? Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to Meditation is the dissolution of what? You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible this by you. Loved. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park. Got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you. Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is, you have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that Eternal what you're awareness. Me you and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. <laughs> Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you what is are, his accent? Shit. For this, <laughs> new, very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga. Somebody say yoga. <gasps> Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, we need a shower, oh. bud. We need a shower. Hey, <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. <laughs> It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. My Come God. <laughs> she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. <laughs> oh God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay. You know, I can probably handle this myself. 
Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging Holy by the shit. And the state of All the right. Of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. Bitch. Don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you at all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you. Fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. <laughs> Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, golf links, and all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. All right, you guys told me that... I'm just realizing it, and I hope I didn't miss it already. You told me that there's a sequence where there's the radio is on, and he's like, what is this? I don't know. He doesn't like it, and he changes it to something else, and he makes a funny, funny comment. But since I turned the radio off so quickly every time, I missed it. You fucking dick. <laughs> it actually wasn't me who hit somebody this time. Well, besides the car. This has got to be it. Maze bang. Let's go in. Find your bait. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. <laughs> oh, I saw that I needed to do that. Come on, you dipshit. I'm glad I did. That was great. Oh, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was really Yeah. All right. It's the auditions Fame or Shame season 14 right here in Vinewood San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. <laughs> Three, Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't even talk to Shake me. Shake what your daddy's crazy, it honey. Sounds so crazy. Now it's up a twenty. Something about this. Uh, I guess enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough. Oh, hey, hey, I got security. Security. What you fucking say? Come on, big guy. Come on, there. Come on. Come here, you little shit. Go home right now, Tracy. Hey, you little prick. Vengeance. Oh god. We gotta take the truck. There! We take the truck! I got a 
deposit on that truck. Not anymore, bucko. We're running that threat down. What is happening right now? It's poor what? parenting. Now, thanks for the what fucking was that? feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No what did I do? In the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Hello there. Faster! Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. played it before is I knew he was gonna come on here so I just stayed on here. Alright? When we crush this little toy car, who knows what'll happen to it. It takes a left to yeah. the left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up? Well it's nice to know that I still suck at this mission. Okay, that car actually helped me, so thank you for that. You took a right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes at LS. Shut up! That car sucker might be famous, <laughs> but oh. We'll get him, we'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. I'm trying, Michael, I'm trying! Ha ah, ah, ha, he's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Thank God. Is there a way to catch him before then? Hey, 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 guys, you run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from loving sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. <laughs> dance, baby, dance. Music, or are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, no. oh, please don't kill me, okay? Don't be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no. get up. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave, we need to talk. 
I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory so oh. you can get there. Okay. That's what that is. Duh. Duh. I forgot about that whole interaction. Definitely did not do any better on that one. Shit. Shit. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. I'm sorry this video was so much shorter than my videos typically are, um, but like I said in the beginning, I just want to make sure that I have my capture card under control because I would hate to lose more footage. I would hate to um, have to continue to do stuff like this and have things not really be a first playthrough. Um, so please continue to be patient with me as I figure this out. Um, if I don't get it figured out within the next couple days, I'll just have to buy a new capture card, but um, I will continue to post videos. They just might not be quite as long. They might be a little bit more choppy. Um, and obviously this one, I'm gonna keep nice and short just as a replay of what I messed up. Well, not what I messed up, what the capture card messed up last video. So um, sorry this one's shorter. Thank you again for your patience. I'm just gonna keep saying it because I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing these missions. If you want my original thoughts on them from when I first played them, the outro of last video, since I didn't know I had an issue until I was done recording and I was editing, um, the outro of the last video is my first impressions of the mission. So feel free to go back and watch the outro for that, for those thoughts. Um, Trevor is, is hysterical, but he's freaking batshit crazy, batshit crazy. Um, but it was nice seeing him and Michael together. And I, like I said in the outro of the last video, I'm not gonna get all into it again, but like I said in the outro last video, I'm really curious to see what their interaction continues to be like. Um, Cause it's not gonna just be buddy chummy right away, I don't think, but seeing their interaction in this video, you could kind of see what they used to be like. Um, and, and that was, it was fun to see Trevor bring out the crazy and Michael, Michael bring out the, not calm, but you know, kind of reining Trevor in a little bit. It was nice to see at the very end of that mission that we just did. So I'm curious to see what their relationship ends up being throughout this game, how it changes, um, and how Franklin is going to tie into that. Is Trevor gonna be jealous? Is Trevor gonna like him? Is Franklin gonna like Trevor? Who knows, but um, lots of things I'm excited for. And I hope that you guys are excited to continue watching the playthrough. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.